Going on to you, Taurus. So, you have the Seven of Wands, Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords, Four of Swords, Two of Wands, King of Wands, the Hanged Man, Five of Wands, uh, Queen of Pentacles, and the uh, Five of Pentacles. So, hmm. some of you, Taurus, may feel like The hard work that a lot of you may have been putting in, not just on the job, but more so, yes, the job too, but more so emotionally is not being rewarded. Um, a lot of you Taurus may think right now that you're in a position where you did all of this stuff for nothing, right? You changed who you were internally for the better, only for people to try to take advantage of you now. That's not really true. That's not true. And the reason why it is I'm saying that it's not true is because people's egos is the problem. It's the reason it's part of the reason why it is that people play games. So when you learn how to manage said ego, this is that's one of the things that make you the most powerful people on earth because most people are completely unaware that their ego is even controlling them. They don't even know what an ego is if they've never some like you understand some people have never even heard of the name ego they they just think they're being who they are when they lack mindfulness they don't even realize how impulsive they actually are so the four of swords and the two of wands represents this being a situation for you where it's ultimately about how a lot of you um, Taurus really perceive it, right? Because a lot of you Taurus may perceive people as playing chess games with you and playing games, and they are. But ultimately, they're really playing games with themselves because of how dysfunctional they are. Like people, you know, people can say whatever it is that they want to at the end of the day if you're if you're not really real with somebody who can you be real with so the four swords represents that you know you taurus need to understand this other people don't need to understand it you need to understand it if a person decides that they're going to be dysfunctional if they decide that they are going to be um ego driven then allow them to do that because they're ultimately not really going to get to what it is that they want the four of swords the two of wands the king of wands let people be ruled by their own ego that want to be ruled by it you know the best thing that you can do for people is to is to tell them to be more mindful of other individuals right they're not the only people living on the earth and if they don't want to understand that if they don't if they want to continue to act like they don't have any kind of consideration or compassion then they're lost so the hangman now in the five wands now represents and this could even represent some of the people that you've been dating <laughs> you know what i mean more than likely it does but that's what i'm also trying to imply the people that you even meet that you may want to go out and date in the future that at first things seem to be working well and then now all of a sudden they start to flip the script. If a person starts acting like that, then more than likely they are ruled by their ego. But the hanged man and the five of wands represents, which means that there's no use in really staying with these people in the first place because maybe you did meet somebody recently, but you shouldn't still be with them, especially if they start acting wild, probably are acting crazy. You know, they probably are acting like they don't have any common sense or, you know, in, you know, if you have people that you're trying to get to know right now that are acting crazy. But regardless of to who or what, maybe it's the future. Right. But there's some crazy individual that you tried to get to know and it didn't work because of how crazy they were.
And a lot of you Taurus realize, but you should realize right around now, if you're in this situation, you really should right now, you really should be staying away from them. The relationship is over because all they can do now is blame you for everything. That's all it is that ultimately they can really do. That's all it is that they can really, because they're not, they're not built to deal with certain aspects of themselves. And this is why it is that I talk so much about me being a dark magician. You know, so many people are caught up in love and light and all that stuff. Okay, love is good, but I say love and darkness because at the end of the day, you need to integrate. See, what's making, a, what's part of it is what making a lot of people go crazy, go nuts, is the fact that a lot of people only want to be only light. And they do not want to integrate the darkness that they already have in them. But while at the same time, acting on that darkness, listening to that darkness, while that darkness is very much so keeping them, ironically, their own self in the dark. <laughs> so they're completely unable of that, right? It's not, it's the wrong kind of darkness. So the the Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles now represents. So for you, uh, Taurus, the best thing for you to do, right? When it, some of them may try to act like they're doing it for your own good. Or this is how relationships are supposed to be. Because you have some people who are delusional now where, you know, people act like this is what a relationship is. and They're trying to justify the dysfunction by, you know what I mean? By with the nonsense that they do and it's like oh because the other side did it and i you know i'm not trying to get political I, i'm not into that but then the five of pentacles represents you taurus finally be being able to be in a position where you can actually move forward but you have to understand that when when um you have to understand that you don't have to uh doubt yourself because that's one of the games that people will do people will gaslight the freak out of you they will gaslight you till the sun don't come up but this is where the ego needs to be managed because you need to be able to separate or create a distinction between when you actually did something and when you should apologize or admit it or when someone is gaslighting you now if you're not even in control i could say i ain't gonna say control but if you're not even managing your own ego this is how a lot of people go get you because a lot of people will have you be taking the blame for some stuff you never did and you'll be sitting up here thinking to yourselves well why this that a third those types of relationships. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Those A, B relationships. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So, so, you know. So let's clarify some of these cards. So let's clarify the, um, the hanged man. Just to kind of give you some more cl uh, clarity on this. Come on now. The death card, two of swords, three of cups. Ten of Cups. The Death card and the Two of Swords is about how you need to stop thinking too much about what will happen to you, your survival. You're already alive. You're already surviving. You're already good. <laughs> so you need to be more, you just need, see, the problem is you just need to become stronger. You need to understand what's happening so that you don't get caught in a situation where you become spiteful. The Three of Cups and the, and the Ten of Cups now represents, now go out there and have fun and get to know people. You're prepared. You're prepared from your own experiences. You're prepared from your own instincts. You're prepared from being here on this channel the wisdom that I gave to y'all, the knowledge. So go have fun. Go talk to people. It's the warmer weather. 
you don't have to what you shouldn't have to worry about certain things so much you know it's kind of like you know it's it's, it's kind of like an mma an mma fighter or like you know floyd money mayweather you know what i mean when you've been doing something so much so long it becomes naturally part of who you are it's not all of who you are but it becomes a part of who you are so much so to the point where this is academic this is something it's so comfortable that movement is so comfortable for floyd or the way that floyd moves is so comfortable for floyd it's like pff, this is academic this is just logical 